Hello everyone, Kumusta? Welcome to Dash of Spices. On today's video, I will be showing you how I made this delicious whole steamed fish. A steamed fish is traditionally served during New Year. A whole fish symbolizes prosperity throughout the year. On this case, a good year from head to tail. So let's get started. Our ingredients are a red snapper. This is a whole red snapper. Just pat that dry. I got this scaled and clean at the Asian market. This is about one and a half pounds. So just pat that dry and also the inside of it. I have black ground pepper, salt, coconut oil. Also, I have soy sauce, a raw honey, and some sake. All of the ingredients are listed down below in the description box. We're also going to use a green onions. I just divided that into thirds, just cut that about two inches long. Garlic, one crushed, and the other half is sliced, and ginger and onions. I'm just going to cut a slit on the outer side of the fish. Cut a slit on both sides of the fish. This is optional, but this will actually help your fish get all the uh, herbs and spices on the inner part or the meat part of the fish. I'm going to place a green onions on the plate that I'm gonna use for steaming. This will help the fish not for not sticking on the plate while you're steaming the fish. And also this will help you if you want to transfer it to a serving plate, this will help you transfer the fish easily. Now I'm going to season the fish with salt and pepper. And also the inner part of the fish. Make sure to season both sides of the fish. And put the, some seasoning on that slit that I cut on the outer part of the fish. Now that's done, just Place the fish on top of the green onions, just like that. Now it's time to stuff the fish. First, garlic. These are just crushed garlic. Be generous with the garlic and ginger because these spices will help minimize the fishy taste of the fish. So be generous, especially using the ginger just use half of those ginger because you're going to use the other half of that ginger for garnish now the green on uh, the red onions just stuff that inside the fish just like that it doesn't have to be perfect just make sure you put as much as possible on the inner part of the fish And now that is set, we are going to make the liquid mixture. We start with the honey and two tablespoons of hot water. I added hot water because this honey is raw, so it's going to be thick. And now I add the soy sauce and mix them together. I'm going to pour that over on the fish, just like that. And some sake. The sweetness of the honey and also the combination of sake and soy sauce will help you get that aroma flavor to your fish. And now this is ready to be steamed. 
make sure that steamer your steamer is already preheated I don't have a steamer that could steam a fish I'm just using a large wok and a, a rack and I pour some water on the bottom and add some salt and I place the fish and I let the steam for about 15 to 20 minutes this is really depends on how big of the fish and now I'm going to cook the garlic the sliced garlic because we're going to use that to garnish I'm just using two tablespoons of coconut oil I just brown that garlic I like my garlic overcooked if you don't want your garlic overcooked then just let it be like light brown and then remove it from the oil but don't discard the oil because you're going to use that later on for garnish garnish <laughs> and now for about 10 minutes of steaming brine the fish by uh, by using drizzling the sauce over onto the fish just like that and then continue steaming this is really up to you this about took me almost 20 minutes because this is a bigger fish And now let's prepare the garnish. I'm just going to cut a tiny like a toothpick or like a much uh, stick form of the green onions. I hope you I didn't confuse you with that big words. But my main idea here is just to cut a toothpick size or form shape of the green onions. This will actually um, will be our garnish. This will add beauty to the fish just like that and now with the green part of the green onions I just cut that thinly diagonally again this is really up to you how do you want to garnish your fish just cut that thinly just like that if you have extra ginger go ahead and use that as well and julienne it or cook uh, cut it thinly as well Now our garnish is finished and our fish is also done. Garnish it with the toasted garlic. Again, I want my garlic overcooked so that's why it's dark brown but this is really up to you. Garnish it with ginger and the white part of the green onions. And now the green onions just like that the fish already look good and now I'm going to pour over that hot oil the coconut oil over on top of the fish there's a lot of good flavor on this fish guys I hope you try this at home. This is a very delicious steam whole fish, perfect for New Year. I hope you like this video and if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please go ahead and subscribe and please hit the like button and don't forget to share this video. Thank you everyone for coming by and visiting our channel. Until next time, ciao!